A contract is defined in this chapter as an agreement made with the intention of creating obligations. Although traditionally there are no prescribed formalities for concluding a customary law contract, nowadays many people opt for written contracts for evidential purposes. What is ilobolo? Ilobolo is a Zulu word which refers to the property in cash or in kind. It is also known as buhadi, buhali, lumalo, taka, ikazi, mahadi, or amabeka. The prospective husband or the head of his family undertakes to give to the head of the prospective wife's family ilobolo in consideration of a customary marriage. An ilobolo agreement is an agreement entered into in respect of a customary marriage. Amongst African people in South Africa, an ilobolo agreement generally precedes marriages concluded in terms of the civil law. Parties to the ilobolo agreement are agreements that may be entered into in order to honor obligations that arise from ilobolo agreement, that is, to enable delivery of ilobolo include ugwetula, that is where a man uses the property belonging or allotted to one of his houses in order to provide ilobolo for a further wife. Ugwenzelela, that is where cattle are given to a man either by his relative or a stranger to supplement the cattle that he already has for the purposes of delivering ilobolo. There are several other contracts in customary law, such as an exchange contract. An exchange contract is entered into when goods or services, excluding money, are exchanged. The parties must own the goods or services and agree on the exchange. The purchase of sale. Here, one party undertakes to deliver something in return for payment of a sum of money. Gifts. A gift is delivered or transferred without reciprocal payment. Employment. Where an employee renders services to an employer for remuneration. Independent service. The provision of independent service with remuneration on completion of work. Agency. Where a contract is entered into by an authorized messenger on behalf of a principal. Once concluded, the contract is binding on the principal. Farming out. This is a custom where an owner of livestock deposits the livestock with another person on the understanding that such a person keep and uses the livestock, but the ownership remains with the owner. Any increase of proceeds, e.g. proceeds from the sale of milk from cows, accrue to the keeper of the livestock. Pledge where property is pledged as settlement to a debt. Traditional health practitioners. Traditional health practitioners shall in future be required to enter into contracts in respect of each service that they render. Isondlo. Isondlo is a Nguni word referring to compensation that is payable to a person who assume the responsibilities of a caregiver to a child by a guardian of the said child at the time when the guardian claims custody of the child from the caregiver. Isondlo agreement is therefore entered into by the guardian and the caregiver of the child. 